So this is how I've customized my Clutio workspace. I have my home page, actually I've bookmarked the projects page. Um, this is where I get everything done. This is where I know where everything is. And just how I got this view, I it's in list view and it's by status. And I move the status down, uh, you know, I kind of, as I change that, it moves down the page. So I could see at the top what I want to most see. It's obviously my lead pipeline and who's new and who's in working. So I love the color coding. I love the way that it's laid out. It really works well for me. Um, a number of my projects are the same type of project. And so I have a really good template that I've been working with. And again, this is what I've been working with for a long time. I have Nusi for proposals and I've had, um, it's called Client Portal. It's a WordPress plugin. It's not cheap. I had gotten an LTD and it worked. I mean, I like it, but I would like everything to be together. So when I found out last week what somebody had done with a client portal, and I think it might have even been uh, Leo showing, I, I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> it just became aware to me that there are different task boards that you could add to them. So the nice thing is I could have a project with all of what I need. And this is my um, phases of my working, but I could also have one for my client. And so I created one for the client. And then after I kind of generate this new sample, I change the permissions, obviously, so they can't see the admin task board. They can only see this tag for task board. And so of course the customer is going to see it. I had to make it look fancy. So I got very fancy and I would say, I would share this template, but I actually did purchase those icons to make those little headers. And I don't know that I can just give them away in a template. So I apologize. Um, I've had that be asked, but it's not hard to do. Any one of these task boards or uh, task columns or lists um, are really easy to build. You just, you know, you can, that's just a, I don't know what they call it, a cover. And um, the main part I have is just the, um, I guess, a colored background. So I worked really hard. I just took the client portal information that I had in here. There are three phases they need to do before phase four, which is while I'm installing, that's what the homework they need to do. And then an offboarding, all the things that I have in place for them to help them get started one-on-one, -on -one, you know, support ticket system, so they can refer back to, to get help from me. So of course I saw over the weekend that you're able to um, modify the login for our clients. So to be honest with you, this is custom CSS and there was a member in the Facebook group who gave the CSS to do really cool things, but to get it started, there is in the interface, the design editor, which I didn't even know that was a thing. So apparently if you didn't know, it's a thing. Um, but the things that were custom CSS were the image of the obvious in the background um, to the left and moving the logo over to the right. And I believe that in the right, that background color is also custom CSS. So, um, I would love it if Leo made that a little more. There's even more stuff I would probably do to that, but I would even love it if it was more customizable. Now for me, I don't have a lot of, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, I have a process that is pretty simple and the customer is not going to be seeing a lot of information. So I want her portal. And honestly, I just, I mostly work with women. They're creatives and bloggers and I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be simple. And in keeping with that, I have a dashboard in here that's pretty simple. So they are able to see the projects that they're working on. And you can see, I like that it shows you the status. So I tell them in my onboarding video, kind of how to navigate this, that they can see that their project is a new status. And then when they pay their uh, initial payments and stuff, they'll, and they start filling out the content that I need, that they'll move into discovery and along the graph queue. So they could see at the top um, how many projects they have and where they are in those projects. And that's something, obviously, I move them along in my process. They can see them where they are in their process. And, you know, obviously invoices, 
um, and stuff. So, so just this is their um, the project board for them. Again, wanted to make it very very simple and just <laughs> open each tile and it has what you need to do and where you need to do to do it. Um, the only thing I would really love is if there were internal pages right now when I need to collect information, I am sending them to a gravity form on my website, an unlinked page, but it's still a, a public page. Um, I like gravity forms because I can embed it into a nice looking page as well as it has conditional logic. So I would really love that. And then, you know, if, if, Ludio would have where they would collect information in a form, have conditional logic, and enter that form information maybe into a client, you know, map it to client record. So just, just saying. So for me, for the client, I tell them I have an onboarding video, you know, do phase one, phase two, phase three, and then phase four begins. Uh, these, this is homework for them to learn about before they you know, before it's installed or while it's being installed, <laughs> installed, and then the offboarding, uh, nothing happens till final payments are made, and then, of course, I have a little getting started for them, for my niche, and then they have a one-on-one -on -one and where to get support and how to join my community. So, that is um, something that I've had a lot of fun doing. I have to say. Um, now about the uh, navigation in there. I, I found it, you know, kind of not difficult. It wasn't difficult. It just, I wanted to simplify what they saw. I didn't want things in there that they didn't need to see. So some of it, I guess, is just finding out what it's called. But we're going to be modifying in here the menu editor. So you're at settings, menu editor, and then go down to the edit menu for others. And then you click on client. And then you can choose to add and remove whatever you would like. And even add really cool things like I had added, um, I guess, the, the horizontal dividers. Um, I just thought that looked a little, a little neater. In keeping with kind of look and feel, I have a proposal that I've created and I actually stole it. It is a template. It's this template, brownie stripes. So I don't know if you could tell, but it looks a little bit different. I was not able to get a an image background here and make it really flush with all the edges, but I don't stress it. It's not gonna keep me up at night, but, um, but yeah, this is brownie stripes is the one that I started from. Probably the only other thing I would love is if I could make my face smaller. It's just, you know, me. Um, what I like about it, this is the top puts in who am I, then the overview. I really liked it that he had where you could put three images in there. So I put three uh, of my Instagram post uh, finished products in there. And moving down underneath that, you have the uh, website investment. I would love it if I could make my icons a little bigger. Um, Leo. And then the next section down is, it's, it's the same thing. These are items done in, I guess horizontal view or list view. This is two items in card view and they all add up to the bottom. I would love it if my recurring items would have a, would either be left out of the investment or have a separate, um, well, I guess it really doesn't need a separate because it's ongoing. There's no final total. So if it could be left out of total investment, that would be great. Then the next section is just like FAQs and then you scroll down and it's got mutual agreement. So yes, this to me is kind of like a contract. I don't do the contracts because nothing that I do is all that. Um, I guess it's not big money that we're working with. And I found that the people that I work with, they sign this and to them, I believe that they see it as a contract, but I don't hold anybody to it. If you haven't paid me and I haven't started, you can sign it and then I don't hold anybody to it. So um, I think contract can be a scary word, but uh, you know, proposal to me connotes what I can do for you. So had a lot of luck with it. And this is my um, invoice and it's pretty simple. 
it's uh i just built it it's a, a header image and then i put my logo in and i don't know i don't remember where i got the template from but i just added sections to it i might have built it but uh anyway if this helps anybody that's my story and uh, take care good luck